I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. At South Carolina's Brooklyn Casey High School, substitute teacher Judith Richards Garty appeared to be violently ill. She was found throwing up in her classroom and hardly able to stand. Then police noticed something unusual in her purse a big old box of wine, which students reported she had been drinking in class. Judith was removed from the classroom via a wheelchair and charged with disorderly conduct. Students reported that she was consuming it in class. It's the first time in written history that it was the teacher, not the students, who was doing the whining. There's a new study that claims we actually remember things better when we drink alcohol. Really? <laughs> you might want to send somebody over to talk to that uh, teacher, Judith. I, I don't think she got the memo. The University of Minnesota has dropped the king and queen names for their homecoming celebration. Now the two chosen will just be known as royals. Right, how does anyone have the time to actually get an education in college nowadays? You're so busy turning everything upside down to cater to political correctness. It's a constant thing. I mean, you, you don't have any time left for studying. The entire town of Tiller, Oregon is up for sale. Yours for just $3.85 million. Oh, yeah, sure. Now they tell me. Yeah, after I already spent the money to put a birdbath in my backyard. A man has been arrested for harassing Christians online and has been banned from any church for five years. Robert Skinner, 55, hosts a YouTube channel called Christian Comedy Channel, which consists of videos mocking Christians and Christianity. The irony of this is that it's people exactly like Robert Skinner who Jesus died for. The founder and former member of a satanic church in Texas has converted to Christianity. Jacob McKelvey, formerly known as Jacob No, was instrumental in bringing together a group of Luciferians to form a Luciferian church. Well, on February 5th of this year, McKelvey and his wife renounced their ties with the Luciferian church after becoming born again Christians. Take that, Robert Skinner! Some conservatives who work in the entertainment industry say that their political leanings have become a career liability. According to the Los Angeles Times, conservatives working in the local entertainment industry are estimated to be in the few thousands. Friends of Abe, the entertainment industry's largest conservative organization, has about 2,500 members, all of whose identities are kept secret. Isn't it great that the liberals who always scream and demand tolerance are the ones intolerant to the point of not hiring conservative actors on their film projects. More men than women take teddy bears to bed as a partner substitute when sleeping alone, according to a survey. While 15% of women resorted to cuddling a teddy, as many as 20% of men admitted to being big softies by opting for teddies. Of the 2,000 people surveyed, 63% said they needed a bedtime cuddle to sleep with many of them saying they resort to hugging a pillow. Pansies. While we're on the subject of gender, men who open doors for women are as guilty of sexism as those who are rude to them, according to a study. Psychologists found that a friendly or chivalrous attitude can mask chauvinistic and patronizing views because the men see females as weak creatures in need of their protection. They warned that this benevolent sexism was harder to spot than the hostile version born out of an open antipathy. Jin Go, a psychologist from Northeastern University Boston in the U.S., said, "...while many people are sensitive to sexist verbal offenses, they may not readily associate sexism with warmth and friendliness. Unless sexism is understood as having both hostile and benevolent properties, the insidious nature of benevolent sexism will continue to be one of the driving forces behind gender inequality. Whoa, 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 hold the phone there, Newt. Seriously? So, so if I open a door for a woman, I'm a male chauvinist pig? Well, what if I don't open the door, huh? What if I wait for her to open it? Well, then I'm labeled an inconsiderate jerk, huh? So why can't I open the door for somebody? I mean, not because I think that they're weaker, but because I'm being polite. 
You know, I open doors for men and women. So I'm sexist if I open the door for a woman. Am I gay if I open that door for a guy? Or am I saying, you're too weak to open the door for yourself? I'm also opening it for me. So am I a narcissist then? <laughs> you, you are overthinking this, feminists. This has nothing to do with you being a weaker sex. In my case, this is out of respect. I was taught growing up to treat women not like equals uh, or lesser than men, but better than men. You are the fairer of the sexes, d deserving of more love and honor. It's not a diss on you if I open the door when you approach. It's me saying my esteem for you is so high that I'm allowing you to go before me. My opinion is higher of you than of me unless you're a liberal feminist that believes all the crap in this story. At which point, I might just let the door hit you in the face. Because you're not a lady. <sighs> Sorry, all right, rant over. Where were we? In Louisiana, an unidentified man broke into a house, went straight for the refrigerator, and started eating. The man ate an apple, some cookies on the couch, poured himself some orange juice, and even heated up a cup of clam chowder. He then fell asleep, naked, in the bedroom. The homeowner's son found the man and called police. You know, sometimes it is possible to get too comfortable in your job. Scientists say they're trying to figure out why humpback whales are now being seen in large groups when previously they were thought to be somewhat solitary creatures. You know, some think it may have to do with better communication among the humpbacks now that more and more of them are on Facebook. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. This episode's made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.